Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm showing you how to make these fabulous balloon flowers. You can create flowers in really amazing colors that you don't necessarily have the twisting balloons for, or maybe the twisting balloons are out of stock. Hi, I'm Melanie from Balloon Artworks here in Derbyshire in the UK. I'm using a Sempertex pastel green, inflate all the way. And I'm just sending the air to the bottom, so fully inflated. And then let out a little bit of air, just so it's not bulging quite so much there. And tie, okay? And make a flower petal loop of about four fingers or so. And pass the knot, the nozzle through the centre. Give the balloon a bit of a squeeze. Make another loop. I like to just put one twist in and then have a look to check to make sure that the size is not wildly out and then I wrap the knot and nozzle around there. So these loops, they don't have to be identical. Close is good enough. I make a third loop. So again, one twist, take a look. I'll have it a little bit bigger. Okay, there you go. And then wrap all those loops around one another. So you've got your flower stem. And I'm using the five inch Tuftex balloons in Canyon Rose. Tuftex do some absolutely gorgeous colors. And I do get a lot of you asking where to buy your balloons and where I can. I leave links in the description to either Amazon or elsewhere where you can buy the balloons. But it's very difficult when we're starting to use some of the um, emerging brands uh, to find those available online. So if you are serious about your balloon art, I highly recommend that you get a trade account. So if you're wanting to turn professional, if you're thinking about that, I highly recommend you get a trade account with a balloon wholesaler. They are going to require proof that you are a business and that usually means a, providing a link to a website or to a Facebook page showing that you are operating as a business. Um, but if that's something that you're doing, I highly recommend you get a, a trade account because you will get a better price on the stock, you, and, but more importantly, you will get access to a much wider range of stock and a much wider range of brands. So I'd love to know whether that's something that you're going to do. And by the way, I'd love it if you would give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. That's really going to help my channel grow. So take your five inch and inflate with two strokes of the hand pump and tie a soft knot, by which I mean tie a knot, but don't pull the knot tightly. So tie it softly, because what we want to do is just roll that knot along the neck as far as we can, as high up on the neck as we can towards the nozzle, okay? And you're going to need two more of these. Squeeze the air into the neck of your five inch round. And then we want to make a bubble here. So just grab hold of the balloon and twist. And twist off a smallish bubble, okay? And then hold that between your little finger and ring finger because we're going to do the same thing with the next balloon. So just squeeze the air into the neck. Again, we want a bubble here, small bubble. Oh, we want a little bit bigger. There we go. These bubbles, they don't have to be exactly the same size. Don't get too hung up, hung up about that. And then just, whoops, just wrap those two bubbles together. Okay. So that's what you've got. Again, squeeze the air into the neck and twist off a small bubble here. Okay, wrap that around a few times. Hang on to that. And then twist the small bubble into these bubbles here. So just pull it round and twist into those bubbles. Okay, so that's what you've got. Take hold of one of your nozzles and wrap it around a few times, okay? And we're going to do that with each one of the five inch rounds. 
Let's wrap it around a few times and do the same thing with the last one. So just wrap around until you've no more neck to wrap around. Okay, so that's what we've got. Take another five inch round and inflate with just one stroke of the Qualitex hand pump. Again, tie a soft knot and then roll that knot right the way along the neck as far as you can, okay? So we're going to squeeze some of the air into the neck and then we're going to twist off a bubble. Okay, about so big. So that's about three fingers or so, maybe a little bit more. And then with the rest, we're going to split this in half. So grasp hold of that bubble and twist it round, just as though you were creating a split duplet, okay? Hold on to that. Take the knot and nozzle from the other bubble and pull it into the center and wrap it around. So this is what you've got. So we're going to take one of the bubbles and we're going to pass it in between one of these bubbles here, okay? So push your fingers through to help guide the bubble and push it underneath. Okay, and then take these bubbles, these two bubbles on this side, pull them up and round. And then carry on pulling the other bubble through. And at the same time, you want to cross these two bubbles over. Okie dokie. And then we just arrange the petals at the top. And there you've got your flower. Inflate to a tip of two to three fingers. Going to let some of the air out here. Okay. And then put a twist here because I'm not going to tie that just yet. I'm going to inflate this with just one stroke of the hand pump and then I'm going to wrap that onto the 260 and tie together and then I'm going to cut off these messy bits here. And then with this balloon I'm going to split this in half. So hang on and twist. So we're twisting, I'm twisting my hands in opposite directions, twisting round, and then I can just use that 260 to wrap around to help split uh, those bubbles, okay? So the reason I've done this is because the spring lilac is a bit too vivid a color for what I wanted. So I just wanted to tone it down a little bit with the addition of the uh, round bubbles. Take hold of your flowers and wrap the 260 around the stems and then just wrap the 260 into those two pinch twisted uh, bubbles into the split, split duplet. Give everything a squeeze and a stretch. Bring that round again. Make sure it's fitting nice and snugly and wrap in again. Okay, I'm going to snip off the end. Wrap that around some more. Okay, and what you can do if you want is take the strap around the back and wrap that into those two bubbles. That's just going to help secure everything in position. Okay, and we can just adjust the flowers. So if you've enjoyed this video, I think you might like this one next.